Imagine if you want to record a talking head video like this, or a random street interview, or a short film, and you don't have an external mic available. The biggest challenge that you will face to this sound. My name is Kodede from Promise Studios, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best audio recording app to patch your quality audio with your smartphone. And I'll also show you how to effectively use it to get the best results from me. As a bonus tip, if you watch to the end, I'll show you a trick that helps me to easily sync the audio with the video in editing during post-production. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. So, this is the RecForge app. So, let me just allow. Okay. So, the first thing we are going to do is to click on these three lines on my left hand side. Then, under that, I'll click on settings, audio settings. So, you want to make sure that your audio is on Wave. Wave is a loseless audio file format. So the kilohertz should be 48 kilohertz while we should set it on stereo instead of mono. This will make us to have it being recorded both in our left and right channel. So that's all for here. I click on OK. So the recording name format. Basically it records with date and time. I will go with that second option. So another thing you might want to change is this thing. So either you want to use light thing or I want to use dark team. So yeah, every other thing can be left the way they are. Now this plus sign here is to create a folder. So if I click on it, so I can name it with the project I'm working on. So that everything I record on this particular project will be in that particular folder. So this makes it easier for me to um, copy it when I want to copy. So I'll just name this RecForge Tutorial. So that's okay. So that means everything I will record will be inside this folder. I basically click on home. It brings you to the uh, first page of all the folders. So I'll click on this uh, RecForge folder. So this side, that means you can see on top here RecForge tutorial. That means anything I record now will be in this particular folder. Um, usually I don't change anything here. So you can just leave it at it as it is. Next thing I will want to do is to press record. Now I am recording. Now you can see the red line and the green line. So these are my two channels. It's indicating both the left and the right channel. So the few things that we need to take note of here, this ROM number that is written down here is showing you how long you are recording or you've recorded. Why the line that is above it is if you want to increase the recording volume, which I usually try to leave it as low as possible. So if you increase it, you find out that the audio wave is getting bigger. That means the audio is actually getting louder. Then if you look at your right hand side, this blue bar that is going up and down is also indicating the volume of your recording. So the more you increase it, the more you can see that everything is going higher. Everything is going higher as so you are increasing the volume. So I like to put it as low as possible because when your audio gets too loud, gets to a stage where you cannot bring it down anymore the more you increase it here the more it's going to be picking noise from the environment so sometimes it's better you leave it low so it's easier for you to clean the audio later you can easily increase the volume of a of an audio than to reduce it later so it's best you leave it as low as possible as long as your sound you can see that there's movement happening in your sound wave and this blue bar is moving also you want a situation by when, when you are quiet nothing is moving like what you can see now as i'm quiet thought is actually moving so that's the best way it should be not like when you are quiet and things are still moving that means it's speaking a lot of noise from the environment also you to you try as much as you can to keep yourself in a quiet place in order to avoid picking too much noise from the environment this other speaker button that is crossed if i click on it what happens is that I'll be hearing myself as uh, I am talking. So, but if you are not using earpiece, this is not very good because the audio will be entering back and it will now be creating a kind of echo, which is not a very good thing. So you might want to just put that off. This other button that looks like a Y, if you click on it, what happens is that 
uh, your audio automatically stops recording and start a new one so if you want to just end this particular recording and start a new one immediately that's the button for it so like now let me just do it for instance if i click on it now we we'll see what happens so that audio have stopped recording and a new file have started immediately so this square button down here what it does i need to click on it your recording stops uh, this um, pause symbol here yeah. if you press it the audio pause monetarily so let me pause now and show you so during that pause it was not recording anything so now i've continued it continue again but this is always not the option for you if you are going to sync this audio with your video doing editing because when you pause you did not pause the one from the video camera so you end up having an audio that it will not the timing will not be by the time this other one now you pause it let's say the duration of this audio now is two minutes meanwhile the one from your camera is two minutes 30 seconds because you actually pause this one and it not pause that one so it's it makes it difficult for you to sync it doing editing so instead of that just stop recording and start a new one if you wanted to so i can easily sync it in editing the upside of it is your file number this 13 03 that is the file name that this is going to be recorded with so let me just stop recording now by pressing the stop button so if i want to play back my audio and hear what i just recorded i'll click on this play button here so if i want to pause it i click on the pause button and if i want to stop it i can just click on the stop button here this other button here takes me to the end of the of the recording why this other one takes me to the beginning of the recording you can even see that this time here i told you this zero 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 at the end of it is one minute 55 seconds under it is showing you the duration also so if i want to go back and see other files that we recorded i'll click on this button down here if you click on these three dots on your right hand side you can quickly share it maybe via zender via whatsapp via email or any other means or if you want to convert it to maybe mp3 or any other format this is where you do it the method that i see if you want to change the details of the file the metadata that we adjusted then set it as ringing tone cut a particular section out of this this is where you do it i usually do this all these things if i really want to do it i'll do it in my photo editing software because i find those ones more flexible than doing it here if i want to delete it i'll click on this trash can button then this other pen button here is to rename it if i want to change the name of the of the file can you also name it and uh, give it a name that i can use to know which particular project it is but usually i don't usually touch the name i usually leave it the way it is so if i want to go back and see the other files that i've recorded i will just click on it and then uh, i've gone back so if i want to record a new file i just click on this red button again then i'll start recording if i want to sort this file i can sort it by name or in ascending order or descending order i'm using the pro version of this app so that means if i'm done with my recording i can simply go to where i save it let me quickly open my file manager and show you where this is in my in my phone so this is my sd card so if i open my sd card i can just look for the name rec forge so this is the folder name now rec forge so under RecForge, you see RecForge tutorial, that's the folder I created in the software. That means all the recording I did, they are inside that recording. So I can just quickly move it from here to where I want it to be in my phone, just for proper organization, because I don't want my files to be scattered everywhere. But if you are using the free version of RecForge, you don't have the option of seeing these files you recorded in your SD card. The only way I found out that you can use to share it that actually works on my device is via Bluetooth. So you click on share and select Bluetooth. So you can either send it to any other person's phone and send it back. So the one I want to send is nice. So this Techno Fabo 3 Plus, if I click on this one now, you see that the files are actually sending. So by the time you have finished sending it to the person, you can use Zender. This time around, Zender will work. Can you Zender and send it back to yourself? You can now look for where it is. Open my sd card then look for zender zender then let me see if it's audio yeah it's what's recognized as audio by zender 
I cannot move it to where the folder where I'm working on on my system is. So I cannot move it there and paste it. So by this now, I cannot have access to it whenever I want it. That's just the extra work you have to do when you're using a free mode. Okay, now let me show you the trick that helps me to easily sync the audio and the video doing editing. So this is what I always do. I'll start recording my video, then open my phone app and click on record. So let's say I click on record, I'll take note of the file number that is here. So this file number is 075617. So I'll read it into the camera. So file number 075240. Next thing I'll do is to clap. So this clap now, when doing editing, I can use the sound wave from my clap to easily align the audio from this one with the audio from the video. If you have not seen it so far, please let me know in the comment section. Please like and share this video. It helps it to be seen by more people. I would also like to show you my editing workflow in KineMaster. If that's what you're interested in, please watch this video here or watch this other one instead. That's all for today. Please subscribe to this channel if you're into mobile filmmaking or you want to learn how to shoot and edit videos with your smartphone. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.